Hi, I'm Dr. Lucky Sikon, a fertility specialist, and this week's Fertility Fact Friday is all about what to do if you have diminished ovarian reserve or a low AMH under age 35. AMH is a marker of ovarian reserve. It's a blood test, and levels less than 1 or 1 1.2 indicate diminished ovarian reserve. We are born with a set number of eggs, and we lose them over time and can't regenerate them, so it's not surprising when someone in their late 30s, 40s, and beyond starts to have a low AMH. But what about when a low AMH is discovered under the age of 35? If you're under 35 or especially under 30 and you've been told that you have diminished ovarian reserve, you should really consider some of these tests that are listed right here. This is to identify underlying genetic causes or autoimmune causes that could be associated with accelerated rate of losing eggs. In addition, you should ask about your family history. Ask your mom and any other women in your family if they went into menopause early, meaning in their 40s or earlier, because this could identify a genetic or familial pattern of losing eggs faster at an earlier age. You can also talk to your doctor about the possibility of your ovaries being suppressed by long-term birth control. Hormonal birth control like the pill, if taken for 10 to 20 years, can definitely lead to suppression of your AMH and your follicle count and give a false impression of diminished ovarian reserve and it may make sense to go off of it and then retest the levels. Now forget about the underlying cause. Let's talk about what it actually means to have a low AMH under the age of 35. It is possible that we're catching you on a trajectory where you're losing eggs at a faster rate and will go into menopause where you're under a certain threshold that you stop ovulating altogether. Typically this happens in your 50s but it's possible that this could be happening earlier. We know that AMH is not a great predictor of age of menopause, so it's also possible that a low AMH could stay stable at this low level for quite some time, and you'll continue to ovulate one egg regularly and your cycles will continue to be regular, in which case we don't think of this low AMH as impacting your ability to get pregnant. If you need IVF, however, it can impact your chance of success because there's less eggs to stimulate, it's harder to get a response, and it may take multiple cycles to get a normal embryo. The good news is that if you're young, this typically means that you have good egg quality, and so you don't necessarily need that many eggs. In my experience, patients in their early 30s or their late 20s going through IVF, even if they have a low ovarian reserve and response, and get only three or four eggs at retrieval, it's still very possible for one of those eggs to turn into a normal healthy embryo. So if you have a low AMH and you're young, know that you can still get pregnant. It makes sense to look into underlying causes and it may make sense to consider egg or embryo freezing while you can still access your eggs.